No. Welcome back. France's president, Emmanuel Macron, went to Washington, D.C. this week with a tough task ahead of him to persuade a very thick man, Donald Trump, to rethink his attitude towards complex policy he doesn't understand, like <laughs> climate change and the Iran nuclear deal. He might as well have had to explain a rail replacement bus service to a cow. <laughs> so how did Macron get Trump on side? By trying to shag him, that's how. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I like him a lot. Oh, your mouth. Oh, the saucy bugger. <laughs> he is, after all, a Frenchman, and a Frenchman will shag an airport if you leave him alone long enough. <laughs> but it was reciprocated. Their every photo call was an uncomfortable display of lingering glances, back rubs and long, sexually loaded handshakes. It seemed like an extraordinary capitulation from Macron. We do have a very special relationship. In fact, I'll get that little piece of dandruff. Oh. Off. <laughs> we have to make him perfect. He is perfect. Oh. But it could actually have been an exemplary piece of political gamesmanship. Macron knows that Trump has all the intellectual nous of a fucking mushroom. Mm. The one thing that he does respond to, however, is flattery. By being chummy to the point of the first Oval Office rim job since that famous hot summer night in 1985 <laughs> when Nancy and Ronald Reagan settled down to watch an advanced screening of The Colour Purple and she ended up playing him like a kazoo. <laughs> Macron was appealing to Trump's ego and it seemed to produce results. Macron appeared to convince Trump that leaving Syria would open the door to Iran, as well as cementing France's allegiance with Washington and making them America's best bum chums in Europe. Essentially, with a dazzling display of French sexiness, he'd elbowed Britain out of the special relationship, just as Britain needs it most after Brexit. Now we can't even be best friends with the fat idiot no one likes. We are the fat idiot no one likes. Well, tout non feliciation, Monsieur Macron. Mission accompli. Macron's sexy, touchy-feely approach was so successful a tactic, it immediately spread to other heads of state. In a moment full of weirdly touching and historic symbolism, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un met and shook hands with his South Korean counterpart Moon Jae-in, becoming the first North Korean leader to set foot in South Korea since the end of the Korean War in 1953. The two men welcomed each other fondly, having a little laugh, holding hands and, if the Reuters report is to be believed, kissing passionately with tongues for a full 40 minutes after the cameras stopped rolling. <laughs> then look what happened. They declared peace. Maybe those fucking hippies were right all along. <laughs>